Hey guys, SimColor here, and today we are going to learn how we can add images to, or better yet, how we can choose images to later on send um, in the chats that we are in at the moment. So we are we want to open the gallery and we want the, the user to be able to scroll through the images in a recycler view that will place right above the edit text that we currently have in our chat uh, activity. So let's get right on with it and open up our project. I'm going to make this all bigger and I'm going to come straight into the activity chat and I'm going to add uh, both a button that will just say add media or something like that and then add a recycler view okay so first of all I'm going to add the button and I'm going to duplicate the send button okay but this time instead of send I'm going to call it uh, give it an ID of add media and I'm also going to give it a text because otherwise it would be uh, incredibly hard to understand what's what button does what. So I'm going to call, say that it is add media and I'm also going to add a tax for the send and just say send. And I'm going to move the add media button up and place it above the send uh, button because well normally the send button is in the rightmost corner of the, um, the activity for every single chat application that I know of. So that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to add a recycler view above all of this. And the way I'm going to do it is to uh, wrap the edit text and the buttons in a linear layout. Wrap content, wrap content. I'm going to make it match parent actually in the width, but I, I'll do it in a second. I'm going to Ident this with I'll change it to match parent as I said, and I'm going to say that the orientation will be horizontal. Now uh, the recycler view will be as I said straight above this. So for this I'm going to change the orientation of the main line linear layout to vertical, and this way I'll be able to add a recycler view in here and it will be uh, right above uh, the edit text and the buttons. Okay, so with it will be uh, wrap uh, match parent actually and height will be wrap content. Okay, so that's it. Um, now all that we need to do is to add an ID obviously and for that I'm going to just call it media list and yeah that's it now we are able to go into the chat activity and actually start working on writing some code okay so here we are and i'm going to scroll a bit down and add another button this time it will be the add media button so let's say add media and the id is add media as well and collapse this Okay, and now I'm going to add a set on click listener for the add media. Okay, change that in here. And now I'm going to create a function which I'm going to call open gallery. And oops, okay. And I'm going to click Alt Enter Enter for to create a new method. And it will create the method for you, but I'm going to actually pick it and move it to the bottom as I want to keep everything concise and so that it is much easier to, to read. Okay, so now we have the open gallery here at the bottom. And what this open gallery will do is uh, to create an intent that will um, call for the gallery to be open and for 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 we to be able to choose uh, the images and so i'm going to do that right now and i'm going to say intent intent equals to new intent just that and now we'll start adding things to the intent so 
uh, telling it exactly what we want to do with this intent. Now let's say intent set type, and this is the type of file that you want the user to, to choose from. So in this case, we want a, an image. So I'm going to say image slash an asterisk. That's how you have to point. Uh, and this is how you say that you want the user to pick an image. If you wanted an audio file, then you'd say audio. If you wanted a video file, then you'd say video. So you get you understand how, how all of this works. OK, now we are going to uh, put in an extra which uh, will tell the intent that the user will be allowed to pick multiple images at the same time. So let's say intent dot extra allow multiple. OK, and comma set it to true. And yeah, that's just an argument that you had to pass. And now this error will uh, or very this warning will appear, which uh, says that the field requires an API 18 and the current minimum is 15. So I'm actually going to just forget about this and add uh, the, um, the API level that they want, which is 18. So I'm going to come into our Gradle and change it to the min SDK version to 18. And that way we don't have to worry about anything and it will just work. There are a couple of libraries that you can implement that will allow the user to pick multiple images at the same time and still keep the minimum SDK version at the 15 that we had before. But just to save some time, I'm going to, to rise this. And if you want to, then you can change it later. Uh, OK, so now that has finished uh, syncing, we can move on and say that uh, and tell the intent the type of action that we want the user to do. Set action and we want the user to get content. So we will say intent dot action get content as easy as that. And now we'll say that we want to start this activity for a result. So we want to get the data that the user uh, picked. And uh, we'll, you'll understand in a, in a second how we do that. But we basically just get a list of the URLs, or better yet in this case, URIs, which is a much uh, like, you can think of URIs, URLs are contained inside the URIs, but URIs are not contained inside the URL. So URIs are the generalization for the location of things. Uh, and so because of that, URL is just that. It's the location of something. And if you want to get the, the location of an item in your phone, then you are basically getting a new URI. But you'll understand that uh, as we move on. Uh, further. So for now, we want to start the activity for a result. And let's say intent dot create chooser intent comma. And now we can move on. Uh, we can pass along the title that we want the, 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 the gallery to have. In this case, it's just select picture with an S in between the parentheses because the user can select multiple ones. And then we pass along the request code, which will be returned to us in the on activity result, which uh, can be called for multiple reasons. So we have these codes that will allow us to, to know exactly where uh, and why the on activity result um, is being uh, called. So let's simply call uh, create a variable up top in here. int pick image intent. And I'll say that it is equal to, I don't know, one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you just have to make sure that you use this both here and on the on activity result. OK, so pick image intent is there. And now let's create the on activity result, as I was saying. 
on activity results. Okay, this will create a method for you. And now we'll simply say if result code equals to result okay. This is just to make sure that everything went uh, fine uh, and the user was able to uh, get the images that the user wanted. Uh, now we'll say if request code equals to pick image intent and for now I'll just do an if but the way I like to do the on activity results is to place everything within a switch uh, statement. But for now because we only have one request code I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, if in the future we add more uh, intents then I'll do that. So <clears throat> for now we have two options. The user can both pick multiple images or the user can pick just one image. Okay. So the, the easiest thing that we have is that the user picks one image and for that we can say that we let's just create an array list in here. Let me do that and I'll explain it in a second. I'll call it media URI list. It will be of the type string. Okay, that's really important. Now let's say media URI list equals to new array list. Okay, and if the user picks just one, then what we are going to do is to add the URI to this list. And this is how we are going to keep track of the images that the user wants to send to the database and obviously to the chat. So in, to do that, we simply say media URI list dot add data dot get data dot to string. It is as, as simple as that because in the eventuality that the user only picks one image then we just have to get the data that it is thrown to us through here. Now the problem arises when we want to when the user picks multiple images because well if the user picks multiple images then this data will have a list within it of the URIs that the user picked. And that's a problem because we can just transform uh, and a list to string and add it to, to another list. It won't work because we have to look through the data and get each and every single URI that the user picked. Okay, so for that I'm going to say if data.get clip data equals no, then this means that the user uh, only picked one image. And because of that, we are going to simply add it to the list. If not else, then that means that the clip data has a bunch of information, which is basically a list, and we can look through it and get all of the URIs that are inside it. Okay? So it is extremely easy. You can say for in oops for int i equals to zero to i smaller than data dot get clip data dot get item count which uh, this get item count will be the number of images that the user chose to i plus plus obviously then we'll simply add it to the media uri list so dot add data dot get lip data dot get item at i dot get uri i know this is a lot but it is all necessary dot to string okay and this will add every single uri that the user picked to our media uri list okay so that's it now we are able to both get one image and multiple images at, at the same time and all that we have to do is to populate our recycler view that we have in here with the images. And for that, we'll need to create uh, another adapter, uh, another recycler view adapter. And yeah, we'll go from there. So I'm going to come in here into chat, new Java class, and I'm going to create a media, media adapter. 
and yeah that looks all fine let's create it and this media adapter will the only thing that will it will do is to populate an image view with the image uh, with the image URI okay so now let's simply create the um, everything that we need and the first thing that we need is obviously a constructor and so you simply say public media adapter and these names must be the same always remember that the constructor has the same name as the class itself first of all we need the context because we'll be populating the images view the image view and we'll be using glide for that which is a library that we can use to populate images and because of that we will need the context and we'll need the array list with the strings of the URIs media list and uh, we'll just pass along this media URI list okay as easy as that and the reason why I'm not simply passing along the URI is because we later on will be getting the URL from the database and so I just prefer to have everything normalized with a string as a string and in here in the media adapter then make the change back to the URI or the URL or whatever the hell we need okay so now let's create the global variables for this class so array list string media list <clears throat> and context context okay so this dot context equals to context we've done this before plenty of times so I'll assume that you understand why we are doing this and this media list equals to media list okay as simple as that now uh, let's move on and create the media view holder okay and this is the part that contains all of the information that uh, will be uh, all the information that has to do with the find view by IDs and getting the, the objects out of the XML that we'll create in a second so let's say public class media view holder extends recycler view dot view holder and implement and uh, actually it doesn't implement anything so it only extends and now as you can see it is underlined and the reason is because you need to create a constructor for the view holder and it is expecting it so simply cl create uh, click alt enter enter and it will create a constructor for you okay so um, for now th th this part is done and in here it is a semicolon okay now we are able to extend this view holder inside our main class uh, which is the media adapter so let's say extends cycler view dot adapter and in between uh, the greater and lesser than signs we say media adapter dot media view holder okay and now again it will be underlined and that's because we must implement a couple of methods so let's again do alt enter enter it, it will create everything for you and you've seen this before obviously because we've implemented it in the message adapter and in the chat adapt chat list adapter and so on and so forth so yeah that's exactly what we need and so in here let's simply say view layout view equals to layout inflator and we inflate uh, a layout to place in here from parents dot get context dot inflate r dot layout dot and now we uh, have to create a layout because we obviously don't have it right now so I'm going to go into the layout file into the layout folder and create an item 
media. Okay, I'm going to change this into a linear layout and I'm going to create it. And in here, it will be extremely easy because the only thing that we need is an image view. So image view, make this bigger, image view and it will be with rep content and the height I'll simply say uh, at 100 SP. I'll give it an ID of media and I'll say let's just give it a source so that we have a placeholder for it. Okay, as easy as that. Um, we now can go back to our uh, media adapter file and I have item media. Okay. And now add the following uh, arguments as well, which will be null and false. You don't really need to, to care about this, but yeah, you have to have them. Then let's say recycler view dot. And now let's simply say media view, uh, view holder. Media view holder equals to media view holder and pass along the view that we have. So the layout view. Okay, close that up. And oops, I forgot to add the new. So I mean, we are going to create a view holder for this. So we must call that. And now we simply return the media view holder in here. Okay, so now let's go into the unbind view holder. And in here, all that we have, are going to do is to use Glide in order to um, place the image inside of the image view. And let me just come in here and check one thing. Okay, so we haven't uh, actually implemented Glide, so I'm going to go into uh, my Google Chrome and I'm going to type in, in Google Glide. Okay, and I'm going to click this link. I'll make sure to drop this link down below in the um, description so you can check it out. And this is the library that you are going to use. And it is really cool because it makes it extremely easy to load URLs into an image view. Okay, so for now, all that we have to do is to grab this implementation and annotation processor, go back to our uh, project and simply add it in here. And now let's sync it and hope that everything goes fine. Okay, so it finished loading and it appears to, to end uh, to have gone smoothly. So now to use glide, all you have to do is to say glide dot with context dot load um, the media uh, URI that we, we have from the media list into our image view. Now, the thing is, uh, we have to parse the string that we got from this list into an URI. Okay, and that's extremely easy to do. All you have to do is to say uri.parse media list .get position into and in this part, we are supposed to uh, type in the image view that we want inside here, but we still haven't uh, created it in the view holder. So let's do it right now. Image view and media. Grab it. Let's say and media equals to item view dot find view by ID r dot id dot media okay that's it and so in here we simply say m media and it isn't being called because we must call the holder obviously so holder dot m media and that's it now uh, for, as a final thing we have to change this return zero into uh, the media list size so media list dot size and this is incredibly important if you don't do this then nothing will show up in the recycler view 
Okay, so now back to the um, chat activity, I'm going to duplicate this recycler view, place it here, and I'm actually going to move this up top because all of this has to do with the same thing. And I'm going to first of all change this initialized recycler view to initialize, uh, how are we going to call it? Initialize message recycler view. Or better yet, I'm just simply going to call it initialize message and change it up top again. And uh, I'm going to call this initialize media. And I'm going to call it uh, right below initialize message. Okay. And now we have, uh, as you can see, everything has changed, so we must add a new and um, recycler view. So for that I'm going to go at top and say and media and media adapter and m media layout manager. Okay, this is because well we need to have um, variables corresponding to our media recycler view and we can't use the chat obviously so now uh, below let's change all of these variables and i'm going to simply grab all of these and say m media grab the layout, layout manager and change it here in here it isn't message list is media uri list in here it is and media adapter and it isn't message adapter it is media adapter so you have to make sure you change all that's needed and for some reason it isn't going and that's because we had to add the get application context but apart from that it is done uh, except for this message list because it is let me just check I call it media list okay so let's change that and now uh, the, the final thing that I'm going to to actually change is the linear layout. It, it, it won't be vertical, it will be horizontal. So I want the images to scroll horizontally above the edit text. I believe that looks much nicer and so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, now uh, one thing that's that we have to add is to notify uh, anytime a change happens. And to do that, I'm simply going to come in here below the if else and say mmediaadapter.notify that it's set change. And that way uh, it will automatically add the images to the, um, the recycler view. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I don't believe there is anything left to do when it comes to picking images. So I'm just going to run the app and see if everything checks out. Okay, so the app finished loading and let's jump right into uh, this message, message, this chat and let's uh, add media. Okay, let's click the first one and it loads them in here and let's click the second one. And as you can see, everything checks out and we can add multiple by clicking it long pressing an image and adding two and now we expect for the recycler view to show two images in one go so let's do it and there we go both of them appear in here and right now we can't scroll because there are too few images but we actually actually can add the images until we have, are able to scroll so like this and as you can see why we are able to scroll and yeah now all that's left is to when an image is here in the media URI list to send them alongside the message and but we'll leave that to to the next lesson because this is getting kind of long so yeah thank you all very much for watching i hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao